everybody. I'm Tom Vassell. Welcome to another look at another shelf in the Dice Tower Library. Now, it's hard to believe, folks, but there was once upon a time where there was a very, very particular box size that was used in board gaming. That box size is all but obsolete, but there are still some games with it, and guess what? Most of them are on this shelf. So, uh, that's not quite everything on this shelf. You're going to see a lot of Friedman Freeze games here, but uh, some very classic games. Although the first one we're taking a look here at 12C is not a classic game. Magnus Storm is only a few years old and really just got lost in the mix of everything else, which is odd because the company that made it, people loved the Terra Mystica and Gaia Project. Magnus Storm from that same company, I like better than those games as you basically are running this vehicle around on a planet trying to stay ahead of a Magnus Storm and you know, stop and drop off different places to get points and there's man there's just so much goodness in this game and it's not overly complicated definitely worth checking out the next two games on the shelf here are Concordia and Concordia Venus now they're both Concordia really Concordia Venus has the team version in it um, but I just like Concordia of course a lot of people do this card uh, hand building game where you have these a hand of cards and you play a card each turn until you play one card that lets you pick them all up, but you can add new cards. It's not a tremendously exciting game or exciting looking game, but it's a solid, really great game. Now we're gonna get to Navigador. Uh, this is one I've not actually played. Uh, I know a lot of people like it though. It's a classic game, so therefore it's in the library. Then we have Imperial and Imperial 2030. Now I hate Imperial, I really do. I know a lot of people like it, that's why it's in the library. And I've never played Imperial 2030 because from what I understand, it's a very similar game. Different nations are fighting each other. You are not the nations, you're trying to control the nations, which means, and I played this, that sometimes you'll have no turn and I just didn't find that fun. All right, you'll notice now that we're coming into a plethora of green. That's because this section here is Friedman Fries, 2F games. This is not all the games I have from him, but the games of the, this size. So first we have Fast Sloths, which is a great racing game. It's a pickup and delivery, except you are the one being picked up and delivered. Highly recommended if you come to the library to try this one out. Then we have 504. This one is more of an experiment than anything else. There's supposedly 504 different games in that box. There, there are, but they're not great games, but it's an interesting experiment and that's why it's in the library. Then we have Power Grid. Power Grid is fantastic, of course. Uh, if you never played it, it's definitely one of those ones that you need to check off on your list. I have a lot of maps for Power Grid. Uh, they're on the expansion shelf. I don't have all the maps, there's just way too many, but it certainly is a great game. Fearsome Floors next to that is very interesting because Fearsome Floors is a kind of a monster is chasing everybody and you're all trying to run away from the monster and hope the monster gets other people. It's a light game that could fall into analysis paralysis, but honestly is just a great entertaining game. Then we have Elfin Roads, which is not Freedom and Freeze, but uh, it was green in the same size box I put on the shelf. That's actually from Alan Moon from Ticket to Ride fame. Elfin Roads is a another it's a race game where you're just racing around the board going to different spots but you're using various forms of transportation i liked it a lot more when i first played it it's kind of faded a bit for me now as time has gone by fayum is the newest i think of all the freedom and freezes games um it's interesting it I don't know how else to describe You have to go watch my review. It's here because it's new more than anything else. I don't know if it's going to have long-lasting legs, but you're building like a tapo of cards that you're activating and doing different things. It's a hand-building game, actually similar to uh, Concordia, it's just not as smooth. Fabled Fruit is a very simple game that uh, Freeman Freeze, I, uh, what did he call this game? It was basically you would play the game, and at the end of the game, you make some minor changes before you go to the next game. So you just moved through this. And it works. It's really light, though. I enjoy it, but not everyone does. Future Ropia, I've not played this one. I've heard good things about it. And it just, I set it up one time and looked at it, but the setup took so long, and I just never got around to playing it. Then we go to The Downfall of Pompeii, which is about a volcano about to burst on Pompeii, and you need to rescue as many of your people as you can. And then once the volcano erupts, get them out, your people out, while trying to make the lava trap other people in. 
It's a very macabre theme, but it's done in a very, very abstract way, and it's a fun game. It's from uh, uh, Cause uh, Jurgen Raid, who did uh, Carcassonne, so there's that. Then there's Tales of Arabian Nights. Just a great storytelling game. It's silly. You never know what's going to happen in this game. It's entertaining as all get out, worth playing. Aladdin's Dragons from Richard Brees, who's known nowadays for all his key games. This was pre-key. Uh, Aladdin's Dragons, actually, I think this was one of the key games, but it got re-themed into Aladdin's Dragons from Real Grande. But it's still a very strong game, and I would play it for sure. And then Adrenaline from CGE, this shoot 'em up game, um, basically built around, you know, kind of everyone running around shooting each other, whatever video game you might think of. They did a pretty good job of bringing that to life. So on this shelf, my favorite game, whew, there's a lot of good ones here, but I think we're going to stop on the most classic of them all, Power Grid, although Fast Sloths is pretty close. I'll go with Power Grid, though. What's your favorite game on this shelf? Let me know in the comments. Until next time, though, I'm Tom Vassell, and you've been taking a look at another shelf in the Dice Tower Library.